Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing? Welcome back to White Gaming today and another Generation Zero video. So what we're going to be doing today is very quick and simple and fun. We got some juicy, and I mean goddamn juicy news from the GC stream. There is a lot of stuff. It was a two hour birthday special, so it was a good one. If you haven't checked that out yet, head over to the Systemic Reactions YouTube channel and check it out. The link is down below. And also, there are a few giveaways going on this week on the Generation Zero Discord, so check that out too. It is in the description below. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. We cover Generation Zero in full, and I mean in full. Every little bit of detail from this game is on this channel. So, let's jump in and see what we've learned today. Now, we're going to start off with a bit of bad news, and then we're going to come into the good. A lot of us, and I think I say a lot, I think every single one of us noticed that in the trailer we saw a backpack. Now, unfortunately, that backpack is not there. That is from a very old build of Generation Zero, and it's not actually coming to the game, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it never actually made the final cut. I don't know whether it was for a DLC or something, but yeah, it never made the final cut. It, it was on one of the dev accounts, and it shouldn't have been in the trailer. It was uh, it was missed, which is really, really unfortunate, but it's fine. You know, hopefully that's something that will, will be coming in the future. Possibly. They ne they didn't rule that out. They did say if it's a, a lot of the features that the community want. So get on the forums, get it on there, you know, get it on there and, and get people... Um, Get, get as many people as you can to, to say that we want backpacks because the more that they see that from the community that they want it then uh, they're more than likely you know it, it will come at some point but yeah it accidentally made its way into the trailer so unfortunately there are no backpacks but 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 people base building has been confirmed 100% it's going to be amazing now this isn't your typical base building where we can build anything and anything all across the map it will be centralized to one location at first they are planning on opening it up to different locations but it won't be all over the map you cannot just build anywhere you want there'll be a set area and the way it is going to work is you're going to find your materials and you're going to i don't know whether we're going to have to unlock blueprints or anything like that i would like that i think that would be really cool if we do but you will build a home base as such um, with walls, we've got walls that we can build, we've got towers that can be built, we've also got turret stations that can be built. Now whether these are manned by us or they're automatic turrets, yet to be seen. Obviously they want to keep a lot of things secret, so yeah, uh, as far as we know so far, it's just there's turrets, tar turrets, towers, walls, and once you've built your base, you can trigger attacks on it. And you have to survive or protect what is inside. Now, these sort of horde wave missions are going to be reward-based, and you're going to have different levels to them. So you'll be able to pick a level you want. The higher level you go for, the better the reward, or the better chance of a better reward. Which sounds really cool. It's something that a lot of people have been wanting, um, a, a wave defense sort of thing, which is, is really good. I'm looking forward to that. I am so excited. It is looking and sounding pretty damn good. Um alongside that you're going to need to actually use these building mechanics to survive the the hordes that are going to be coming after you it's not going to be as simple as just pressing a button and shooting a load of machines they are going to be coming in hot and heavy and after what you're protecting so you are going to need to utilize the building to actually get the most out of these these challenges and, and the, these hordes so to speak which is a really really cool way and i i am looking forward to that it, it's going to be amazing. Now, as I said, it, it is just going to be one area to start, but they have said on the forums that people can that people can post on the forums that they want different areas, which is good. They are opening to bringing it on to separate locations later down the line. Obviously, the first, first month, we'll just see how it goes, which is, is going to be good. But it does, as, as Pontus said, very riskily, they are releasing it on all platforms on the 26th, 27th of April. So that is very good news. Very good news. Um, we're all going to get it at the same time, which is perfect. I am really looking forward to it. And also, there is no birthday event this year. 
Uh, what they are going to do is give us a letter from the devs on the Friday, but it's going to be a little bit spicier than usual, and we're going to get some extra details as to what's to come, which is very good. So a massive shout-out from me as well to Bjorn, Amanda, Laura, all the dev team behind Generation Zero. They have worked their asses off, and they've brought us an amazing game. And they just keep improving it. So a big, big thank you to all of those guys. And to Pontus, who's providing us with some awesome streams. His aim is not always as good as he'd like, but he's a great guy and it's a right laugh. Um, I love the streams. Now, alongside that, a few other things were mentioned um, to do with assignments. Now, they are ever looking into assignments and potentially changing them. So we'll see that as well with the new update on the 27th, that they will... There'll be new assignments for the new content, which is very cool. I like that. That's very smart. And alongside, we could see harder assignments in the future or potentially even community assignments, which would be very cool. And finally, one last thing, which a few people ask, especially in my comments, and that is next gen. At the moment, they are looking into ways they can utilize next gen and make it, you know, better for the game. Um, and, and see what they can do in that respect. There is nothing set in concrete as of yet, but they are looking into it. So that's that's a bit of good news, you know. But anyway, it's Wednesday. It's been a good Generation Zero day. We're going to leave that one there. I think potentially we're going to have a Generation Zero stream on Friday, potentially. Um, I will have to check a few things and then see from that. We might have to cancel tomorrow's stream to do it on Friday instead, but we'll see, we'll see. But for now, that is it from me, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope everybody has enjoyed. I hope this has helped. And we will see you on potentially Friday for some more Generation Zero. Peace.